Welcome back. We are back with author and legendary investor Ray Dalio. And Ray, I want to get your thoughts on China. Uh, of course, the president uh, has a sit down Saturday night with the president of China, uh, Xi Jinping. And, uh, you know, this is a, an open question as far as where this fight goes. Your thoughts on our relationship with China right now? There's a continuum of issues. There are trade issues, and then there are uh, ways of operating issues. I think the trade issues can largely be handled. I think the way of being issue is um, a, a real big issue. So I think as we step back, we have to realize that uh, the world is a small place relative to these two countries, and they're going to bump into each other in a lot of industries yeah, and a lot a of way different ways, yeah. right? So we're in that world where they're going to be bumping into each other, and they're going to have different expectations. And one of the Chinese uh, leaders described it to me as follows. He said, in the United States, what you value most is the individual. It's individualism and you property rights pertaining to the individual. Like if you want to build a highway and there's individuals who have their property, you might have a challenge doing that because of those individual property rights. In China, it's the family. He described it as, he said, the uh, country consists of two uh, characters, state, family. And so he said him as a leader and, um, and other leaders basically view themselves paternally, top down. They want their country to be great and they run it top down. So uh, like uh, if we were to deal with the um, uh, video games like it would not be tolerable for their kids to watch certain types of video games and a certain number of hours and in the united states we would say individually that's a parental decision that's made bottom up so we have this different way that has worked for them it's that top down right. way versus no the bottom up way no freedom um, well freedom within the boundaries china's changed in terms of its degree of freedom pertaining to like markets and so on but it's within boundaries okay right. and it doesn't mean and, and and let's say no or very limited amounts of privacy those types of issues but if uh, so th there would be a, a different approach two different approaches very bottom much. up top down and so things like when they would look at it they would say your education system you know how, how are you going to take care of your education system it becomes a challenge we would say uh, along that that freedom, that freedom of de debate in that, in that various ways. And then, you know, so there's a different approach. Right, because democracy is messy. Yeah. Democracy can be messy. It's a similar comment that Larry Summers gave um, and, and his new Wall Street program, Wall Street at Large with Jerry Baker, uh, the Wall Street Journal uh, at Large with Jerry Baker. It premieres tonight right after this program. And uh, I hope you'll tune in. Jerry's first guest is former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers. Here's what he said about China. We in the United States need to be very clear. We are entitled and we are right to reject Chinese cheating, Chinese violation of the rules, rules that don't cover unfair practices. We're right when we're against that. But when our position is that China can't succeed and that China is not allowed to succeed or it's somehow wrong for China to succeed, that's an untenable position for us politically and an untenable position for us economically. If they're succeeding without stealing intellectual property, right? I think what Larry's touching on is we could, there are different perspectives of what is how to achieve success. And so they have a view of how to achieve success. And we Americans have a different view about how to achieve success. And that is where the issue lies. You can't expect them to change their approach any no. more than you can expect us to change our approach on that. Maybe there's a little bit. So when we look at the issues, there's a trade issue, and then there's a way of being issue. Mm. And those have implications when they're dealing together. Ray Daly, it's great to get your insights. My pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us.